Hi everyone, in today's video I will show you what to do if you have run out of your free 15 gigabyte element on your Google Drive and would like to just do some cleanup. So where do you begin? So let's start with the Gmail first and you can come on the Gmail and search for files with large attachment. And then if you click on the search bar and on the filters, you will see has attachment. Okay. You can also specify the size of the attachment greater than let's say one gigabyte. Okay. So you can use these filters to find uh, emails that contain large attachments and possibly taking space on your storage. Now then if we head on the storage itself on Google drive, you will be able to then see what Google products are taking the most of your storage space. So like right now, I can see the Google Drive taking 970 megabytes, and then there is Google Photos and the Gmail. And from here, you can see a button that is called Clean Up Space. If you click on the Clean Up Space, Google Storage Manager will then show you what you could potentially do. Okay, so you have a one spam email, you have some emails in the trash, you have some large files and some emails with the large attachments. Okay, so you can come and review each of these sections one by one and see if you can just delete them now you can also clean up by a service simply clicking on each of these sections it will take you to the specific Google product and then you can see what you can do about it now one of the things that I definitely suggest you to do is clean up your Google photos that's most likely one of the things that taking the most of the space and you can actually go and save all your items all your pictures at once okay here it's only offering you to save select some of the largest ones and delete them but if we head to your our Google account and then click on manage your Google account then come on data and privacy and if you scroll down more here you will see the section called data from apps and services you use okay so from here if you click on the summary of the services and data you will see how much storage and how much files you have on each of these google services okay and you can download them all in once so for example if i like to save all my google drive files you can just simply download them from here and then you can go back to your drive and delete them from there simply because you already have saved them all on your computer and the same as i said you you can do with the Google Photos. So if you click on the download right here, it will then create the file that you can save to your computer. So you can create a new export here. I have done one previously, so it shows here as simply as a download button. If not, you can click on continue. You can also set automatically save your photos. Let's say every two months for one year, it gives you six exports. You can specify the file size right here and the type. I always leave it just as a zip folder. Now the file size can go from one gigabyte to 50 gigabytes, depending how big is the storage how uh, many photos you have saved so if you select one gigabyte then your storage is maybe more than that it will gonna uh, just simply split uh, into the multiple files into multiple zip files for you to download so then you click on like create export and you will receive email once your export is ready now uh, since i only have few pictures there if i refresh the page i will then uh, see that my download is already done and i can simply click here and it will save it onto my computer and then you can go back onto your google uh, photos and delete all of them from there since you already have the copies on your computer or maybe you have moved them to some external storage I hope this was helpful. If so, do subscribe, click the like button and I will see you on the next video.